Okay, here's another example of finding derivatives, conjecture in a formula, and then proving it via mathematical induction, combining a bunch of different ideas together, which the IV loves to do. So let's get right to it, finding the first four deriv derivatives. The first derivative is, well, in doing this, I have to do the product rule. So the product rule says e to the minus x times the derivative, taking the derivative of the first function, times negative 1, times x plus 2, plus this function times the derivative of x plus 2 is just 1. And if I tidy this up somewhat, I'm going to pull out e to the minus x. When I do that, I get a negative x minus 2 plus 1, which is e to the minus x minus x minus 1. Try in the second derivative. Take the derivative of the first function times negative 1 multiplied by the second function plus the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second function which is negative 1. So I get e to the minus x if I factor it out and here I get x plus 1 minus 1 which is e to the minus x x Okay, going for the third derivative. And take the derivative of the first one, e to the minus x, times the chain rule, minus x, times the second function, plus, here's the first function, derivative of x is 1. Again, factor out e to the negative x, and I end up with negative x plus 1. And finally, if I do the fourth derivative, if I look at this, I think I believe I have to do the first four derivatives. If I do this derivative, take the derivative of e to the negative x, chain rule times negative 1, times negative x plus 1, plus e to the minus x, times the derivative of this is negative 1, pulling out e to the minus x, and I get x minus 1, minus 1 more, equals e to the minus x, x minus 2. Okay, so there's the fourth derivative. Now, here's the third derivative, fourth derivative, the first derivative is now if I maybe take them, let's put them together here. <coughs> Here's the second derivative. Here's the third derivative. And then finally, I have the fourth derivative. If I take these four derivatives here, Let's copy them, go to a new page. Let's take a look at here's my first four derivatives. I notice that's going negative x, positive x, negative x, positive x, and it's going negative one, nothing, plus one. If I rewrite these and pull out a negative each time. Minus x, negative one, x plus one. And this is the first derivative. This is n equal to 1. Let me do that. This is n is equal to 1. My second derivative, again, yeah, I could say e to the negative x. Negative 1, well, if I square that, maybe that makes it positive. I get x. Oh, I'm thinking I'm seeing something. <clears throat> if I make e to the negative x, again, negative 1. This will be x minus 1, and now I can see a pattern here. Even here, I want it to be negative so I can make it cubed. I think I see it. e to the negative x. I could say negative 1 to the fourth. 
and this would be then x minus 2. And this is n equal to 3, n equal to fourth derivative. So, let's see if I can generalize this. Then if I can say e to the negative x, negative 1, this will be to the power of n, it matches each time, and x, well, this is 2 less. So I go from 1, subtracted 1, subtracted 2. So I know this is going up by 1 each time, or sorry, down by 1 each time. So it's x plus, well, this term, I know 5 is going to be minus 3, is going to be... Uh, n minus minus n plus 2. How does that work? Let's try that. Minus n plus 2. If I put 1 in here, I get positive 1. I put 2 in there, I get 0. If I put 3 in there, I get negative 1. Ah, this formula seems to work. This is my conjecture for the nth derivative right here. Okay, so, actually let me tidy it up a little bit and get e to the minus x minus 1 to the n and this will be x minus n plus 2. <clears throat> so now, if I'm going to do by induction as C part, prove it. You should try and prove it before you watch me do it. Pause it and see if you can do it. Start with n equal to 1. Well, when I plug 1 in for n, I get e to the minus x minus 1, x minus 1 plus 2, which is e to the minus x times negative 1, I get x plus 1, which is indeed true. Okay? Happy with that. Now I'm going to assume n equals k is true. So, the derivative of the kth derivative of x is e to the negative x, negative 1 to the k, x minus k plus 2. That's what I want to assume is true. I need to show n equals k plus 1. What I want to show then, I don't, is the derivative k plus 1th derivative. And I don't know this yet, but this is what I hope to show, is e to the minus x minus 1 to the k plus 1 times x minus k plus 1 plus 2 which I know is e to the minus x minus 1 k plus 1 times x minus k minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. This is what I hope to show. I do not know if it's true yet, but I sure hope that it is true. Here's my target. This is what I'm hoping to do. In order to, to get to it, I start with my assumption. And so, taking my derivative of the next derivative from the k derivative is k plus 1. So, here I have to use the product rule. The derivative of e to the negative x is equal to e to the negative x times negative 1 times negative 1 to the k, x minus k plus 2, plus, now this stays fixed, e to the minus x times minus 1 to the k, times the derivative of this, in, of this second function, the derivative of that is just 1. So now I'm going to pull out a equal to e to the minus 
x, and I'm also going to pull out negative 1 to the k. Negative 1 to the... And I, there's a k plus... I'll do k first. When I do that, I have negative 1 <coughs> times x k plus 2 plus 1, which is e to the minus x minus x to the k. And now, I know I want to pull out another negative 1, because I know it needs to be k to plus 1. So if I make this k plus 1, I've pulled out a negative 1 from this term. I pull out a negative sign, so I'm left with kx minus k plus 2. And I pull out a negative 1 from here, which will be negative 1. And then e, the minus x, minus 1, k plus 1. x minus k plus 1 is my derivative, my k plus 1 derivative. And if I go back and check what I had guessed it to be, I have shown that it is indeed what I was hoping to come up with here. I have shown it true. Therefore, by mathematical induction, finish the sentence off, since n equals k plus 1 is true whenever n equals k is true, and since n equals 1 is true, the formula is true. Okay, write this out carefully, but that's the general idea. Take the first four derivatives, establish the pattern, prove it with induction.